The requirements are magic level for the chosen tablet, access to a lectern, soft clay, and runes for the chosen tablet. So your inventory, if you're making standard teleport tablets and you are using someone else's house. So you wanna have your soft clay in your inventory, some unnoted. You wanna have your runes or whatever tablet you're gonna be making. You wanna have noted soft clay and you wanna have cash. Um, as far as what you're wearing, you can bring graceful. It's really not needed though. You're not gonna be running too much. Uh, you can have staves or a tome to help you with the rune cost. If you are using your own house, then really all you need is an inventory of soft clay, uh, the runes that you need for whatever tablet you're gonna be making, uh, a teleport back to the bank, so like a dueling ring to castle wars, or like a crafting cape to teleport to the crafting guild, um, and uh, staves or a tome to help with the rune cost. The location where you create standard teleport tablets, so you do it at your house, or you can use someone else's house. So if you don't have a lectern in your own house to make teleport tablets, you wanna come over here to Remington. This is the location. Um, it's just uh, west of Draenor Village in Port Serum, uh, south of Fowley. Once you're here at Remington, you want to go to world 330. That is the house party world. Once you're here at the house party world, you want to uh, view house advertisement and really any of these will probably have what you're looking for, but I'm just gonna go ahead and click the top one. He's level 99 in construction, so he probably has what I'm looking for. So that's gonna make us enter his house. Then what you're gonna look for is the lectern. So this house didn't have a lectern, so we're gonna go ahead and exit and we're gonna try another house. And this guy has a lectern right here, although it doesn't look like it's a high level lectern, so we're gonna see if it has what we want. So these are the things it has on their lectern. So it has a Varrock teleport tablet, so if you want to make a teleport tablet other than Varrock, then once again, you're going to have to search for a different house. Once you find a house that has a lectern, I'm in my own house right now, um, but this is what the highest level lectern looks like. So once you find a lectern that has the tablet that you want to make, I'm going to go ahead and make Watchtower Teleports. How you do it is very simple. You just have to be on the spell book of the spell that you're going to be creating a tablet of. Uh, you need soft clay and then the runes for that tablet. I'm going to go ahead and make Watchtower Teleport. So all I have to do is click on the Watchtower thing. I have it set to all right here. So all Watchtower, and then uh, it will just start creating the tablets and it will go until the inventory is empty of soft clay or the runes required. So once you're done making all your tablets, if you're using someone else's house, what you want to do is you want to exit the portal. And then from here, what you want to do is just go down to this uh, little general store down here. You want to use your noted soft clay on files. You want to do exchange all. So you're going to want to have coins with you, soft clay noted, and then the runes for whatever tablet you're making. Then you want to go back to the, you want to go back to the portal, go back to the house that you were in, and go back to the lectern and continue making tablets. So it's that simple. If you're making tablets at your own house, if your house is located in Remington, you can also use that method, or you can just go to the banks if you have a teleport. So you can use like a dueling ring to teleport to Castle Wars Bank, um, if you have a crafting cape, you can teleport to the crafting guild and bank here. Uh, basically, all you want to do is just get some more soft clay, go back to your house. You can use a house teleport or a house teleport tablet. Or if you have a construction cape, you can use that. Uh, just come back here and start making tablets once again. And you just repeat that over and over. Here is an XP table and GP per XP um, for all the various standard spellbook tablets that you can make. The requirements are magic level for the chosen tablet, lunar diplomacy, soft clay, and runes for the chosen tablet. So for the setup for lunar tabs is you want to have a full inventory of soft clay plus the runes that you're going to need to make the tablet that you want to make. Also the runes that you're going to need for a moon clan teleport. Uh, also you can wear graceful, um, you can wear tomes of fire or combination staffs, staves to help uh, pay for or help the rune cost for all the runes that you need. Um, graceful isn't required really. Like if you have a decent agility level, you shouldn't ever run out of en run energy. So that isn't really too needed. 
but that is uh, set up. Making lunar teleport tablets. You want to be on Lunar Isle, so that's where I'm at right now. And that was the bank. You just head over here west to this house right here, and you have the lectern right here. So you study the lectern. How you make the tabs is uh, you first you set how many you want to make. So typically you probably just want to put it on all, and then you want to click the tablet that you want to make. So I'm going to go ahead and make some Catherby teleport tablets. So I just click on that, create, and let it go. And it will keep going until all of the soft clay is gone or you run out of runes for the teleport tablet. For banking, when you're making these tabs, you can just run back to the bank over there to the east, or a bit faster method is actually to cast the Moon Clan teleport. That is gonna cost a little bit of money, so it's gonna cut to your profits a tiny bit, but you are gonna make more tabs an hour. So overall, it's, I would say it's worth it to do. So you wanna use the Moon Clan teleport, just teleport over there, bank, run back, and repeat. Here is a table showing the XP per hour and the GP per XP for all of the lunar uh, teleport tablets that you can make. Requirements, magic level for chosen tablet, desert treasure, pharaoh's scepter, teleport to a bank, soft clay, and runes for chosen tablet. The inventory and setup for ancient tablets. So you want to have an inventory of soft clay, the runes that you need for whatever tablet you're gonna make. You want to have a pharaoh's scepter. You want to have a teleport to a bank, so you can use a dueling ring and teleport to Castle Wars. Or if you have a crafting cape, um, you can use that to teleport here to the crafting guild for a very easy bank. You can have uh, staves or tomes to help with the rune cost. Also, one other thing you're going to want to have either in the bank or just with you in your inventory are gold um, objects from Pyramid Plunder. You're going to use those to recharge your Pharaoh's Scepter whenever it only has one charge left. So it would be easier to just carry these with you in your inventory, but that will take up an inventory spot and it will make it uh, so you get to AFK less and you're going to make a little bit less tabs per hour with that. Um, so I'm just going to keep them in the bank and I will withdraw them whenever I have one charge left on the Scepter. So when I have one charge left on the Scepter, um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to teleport to the first option on the Scepter, Jal Savra. Once you teleport to this location, you're going to use your Pharaoh Scepter on the mummy. This is what it looks like when your Scepter is uncharged. Right, you're going to go ahead and talk to him after you use your Scepter on him. And then you're going to say Gold Artifacts. And that will charge your Scepter. Uh, if you have the Desert Diary done, um, you get more charges on your Scepter. So you have, if you have none of the Desert Diary done, I think you only get up to three charges. And then with basically every tier of the Desert Diary, you get more and more charges on your Scepter. It's going to take six gold artifacts to charge it. So either from here or from the bank, uh, when you want to go to the spot with the lectern, what you're going to do is you're going to teleport with the third option on the scepter. So Jal Duract, uh, you're going to end up here at this pyramid from Desert Treasure. You're going to go through this door and then you want to go to the back of the pyramid back here and enter the tunnel. So this is where the pyramid is located. It's just northeast of the Temporas you if you've forgotten so come back here to the back of the pyramid you enter this tunnel and once you are in here uh, you study this lectern you're going to have to be on the ancient spell book and then you can make whichever tab you want to make so i have this set to all i'm gonna make anna carl teleport tabs uh, so i just hit create and then you just uh, sit here and you can afk while it finishes it will go until it's used up all the soft clean your inventory or until you run out of runes for the tablet. So once you need to bank, uh, once your inventory is done, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna use your teleport to the bank. So if you have a dueling ring, you can, you can teleport to Castle Wars. In my case, I'm going to use this teleport to the crafting guild. And then you're just gonna go to the bank. Um, since I've charged my scepter, I'm gonna bank those. I'm gonna, soft clay would normally be gone when you're banking. Uh, so you're gonna bank your teleport tablets. You're gonna withdraw some more soft clay and you're gonna teleport back and repeat that. Here is a table with the XP per hour and GB per XP for, for all of the tablets that you can make on the ancient spellbook.